Hi and welcome. So uh, in the last part we were trying to create the saber which we have here. We were trying to do all the details which we saw, what I saw on the reference picture and when I unhide the reference picture I think uh, was doing well. So it's just me, but I think we did. So anyway, we could do this more details of course if we had a better reference picture more uh, pictures of the sword or saber and it will be probably easier for some parts but uh, this I will leave on you now I'm going to just create the materials for that and do the a nice render and then probably something in Photoshop so uh, we have here one model and I need to cut this into materials like this so what I will do I'll go back here Go to the front view. I will hit all takes on this and let's see. So without any thinking, we'll hit uh at police control A and set here the one. So here we go the shiny metal. Now <coughs> this part and almost the whole this part and this back part is some some plastic or some rubber, I don't know. Uh, so I will guess that is really some something plastic. So we we'll just simply again select the parts which I want to have this uh, material applied. This means this one here with this. Now let's go here. Wall part and also this one without this. So this will be the second part and this one here, this small part here will be the third part. So everything else will have the same materials. So very easy to do. Now I can hide again <coughs> the reference picture and I can create here some plane on the bottom on which we will render uh, the saber or lightsaber. So I will create here Oops. big enough plane, doesn't matter the size actually. Okay, I will drag it up until here. Probably I should also <coughs> update this in some axis. So I will select everything, group it again because I want that it will rotate one by one. Okay, now I'll go here and look why I disabled this again. That was fine. Okay. Okay, let's apply something here at the bottom. I will apply like usually almost white material, just a standard one. Nothing special here. We'll go to run the setup. We'll set up a uh, white screen resolution on this and also metro A. Uh, next I will turn on show say frame. I like this I can proper position the camera. So I want, want to see the detail of the front but also the back part and so on. So I think I will keep it like this one. Probably it would be nice to have two of them. So I will copy this like instance. 
but they this uh, maybe like this and move it somewhere here well a little bit adjust the camera like like this let's say now about the angle maybe a bit more from the top A little bit back. So about your taste. Doesn't matter here much. We'll group, ungroup this. Create camera from this view here. No, I think I got something here, and this is this curve which we have here modeled. So. Select everything here, or at least the part like this, and I will apply here the Ford material, and it should be applied on both. I hope so. <coughs> okay, I think this is a nice angle. Why not? So let's go to the materials. We will again use the materials which we have in our library. And we'll use this one with the metal brass material. Yeah, why not? And we have here plastic little reflecting made. Okay. So let's create a new material, not standard, but multi sub object. Discard the old one, set the number to just 4. And there should be the metal. You can go with copy. Yeah. There should be the brass material. And also this one. So, applied here. It looks like everything applied how it should. Can apply both here. And now let's say, let's check something. Here we have also a bump map, which we don't see, and as you can see, it's bad aligned here. So I will select here my saber. I will try to find poly select here, and I will select the second element. But not on the group, I guess. Okay, I will group that. So one more time, let's go to poly select. Yep. And let's apply an UV map on that. Okay, my mistake if you can see that it was looking very very strange in some moment, it was caused probably by the poly select so I delete the triple smooth and applying to a subdivision which is here, now it should be fine, yeah it is. So one more time. Apply UV map. Go. Yeah, it's applied. Just checking something. And still not good. So we can just try cylindrical here. 
and also with cap applied. When we are, when we are not like that, we can try the box. Box is working, yeah, almost everywhere. Okay, so this is fine. Uh, probably the bump is too big. So let's go here and I'll make it like this one probably. It should be surely enough because we don't want there uh, anything big. Okay, let's go let's do the light. We will again use photometric lights. We'll use is usually these three lights apply here uniform diffuse rectangle make it of course bigger pull back the intensity to something like this can do the lights more cold okay And from the top view, we'll just move these lights to the back, take that, and just change the values there. Changing the values should be much more, less intensity there, and also smaller. The shadows are off here. I probably did instance there, sorry for that. So I will fix this and I will turn off the shadows, so we trace shadows. Okay, we are here and we can try to adjust exposure control after we will apply the HDR map. And I will use this one here. This is from one pack which I found on the net, it was free, which is cool. Some of the HDRs are very nice there. So, this environment. <coughs> Exposure control. And we'll try to enter preview before. But, probably, yeah. Clear bumps, which are here shouldn't be there. And also here I will say yep. Oops. Yeah now it's working, which is cool. So we'll wait some time for the for Joranda. We'll see. Yeah. Here it's looking cool. Just a bit afraid about the plastic there. So, first of all, I will go here and change this to dark color. Probably almost black. I will do a uh, Big render, not so small one. I need to see the everything because from the small exposure control window, uh, it's like hard to see anything. Okay, I forgot to apply the materials also to the bottoms and the screw, which is not such a problem. Bumps looks fine. I just don't like a bit to press material there, but I think it's fine. Yeah, it, yeah, it should be fine. Okay, the first around is so nice. Okay, <laughs> so what I will do, I'll just apply this material also to the bottoms and also here should be everything 
just for sure also here yeah and of course uh, again here and here and also here I also liked uh, the export there which you can of course change a bit you can look on that you can go higher or less but I think this is it all for that I don't see there anything bad so I'll do a render and I think it should be fine so I'll go a bit higher with the values here also the final gather should be a bit higher and <coughs> I think we can do a render so uh, as you can see the rendering part here is very short it's very quick to do because we have a lot of materials we have a lot of HDRs which we can use and the uh, model wasn't so heavy or hard to be textured because we wasn't actually using any textures we were just using materials which we already had and <coughs> probably I was lucky with assigning the lights and so because the lights are fine also the color because the sort the color like this the metal is very nice there also the reflections and after we'll end this with Photoshop, I think it would be great right now. So, after we will do this render, I will do also the ambient inclusion map. It will be much faster render because always this takes some time to render. There are a lot of reflections and so on. And as you can see about this detail here, I like it a lot, how it's going through the wall shape. Also the bottoms, they're looking very nice. The screw is hardly to see, but I'm sure it's nice too. And overall, everything there I like a lot, so I'm satisfied with that. I really. And uh, at the end, uh, when I will merge this in Photoshop, I thought uh, I will do also to try to do the laser from the saber, but I decided not to do this. <coughs> Probably I will do uh, some kind of next tutorial where I'm going to uh, where we'll try to do all these details, all the special effects or something, uh, and we could use there not just Photoshop to that but also some stuff in Max so I will think about that but I will not do it in this part I will do it some, sometimes later so far I just want to finish these ones and yeah I like this the reflections from the holes here you see the shadows which is looking cool too also this part yeah, it's, it's it's nice. It's very nice. I think it was a good idea to model this because really it's it looks nice. I like that. So I hope you learned something. Of course, it was the main idea of this, not just to follow something, but also to learn something. And <coughs> I hope also that I will me to buy some next tutorial uh, we will see okay few more moments and we are done and we can do quickly the ambient inclusion render we'll see how we'll be looking with that of course the ambient inclusion render is making the highlights and the shadows more highlight so it's a good it's a very good uh, thing to have it so we'll just copy this image. I will find my Photoshop here. Oops. Go new. Paste it there. Go back to Max, and I will find somewhere the material library. Yeah, this is what I was searching for. Let's 
So let's find mental ray. Placing surface this. Go to 64, I think, the samples. Distance we will go to zero. Go back to setup. And we will turn on material override. Oops. Here. So just drag it here, instance. And before I hit terminal, I need to adjust exposure control. Hmm. Yep, like this, it should be fine. So let's hit terminal and wait until it will be. <coughs> so I, I said this should be much much faster than the render before. Anyway, here, here are no reflections and anything hard to do, just simply render. And like that we will just paste it to Photoshop and apply it. I think I will go with multiply on that. Oh, 30 or 40 opacity, maybe 50. We'll see how we're looking. And again, it's about your taste because um, I can, could or can do this. I don't have to do that. Uh, I usually do this if I have the chance. And if the scene you know, or the objects are not difficult, or there are not many of them, because I don't have the time to play with that after. So if you have the time, I I really recommend to do the ambient occlusion map, even that it's fake. You can say it's fake, it's not the real thing. This I was reading somewhere. So... And then apply on your final render. It really makes a difference. Okay, multiply, let's go with 50. Clear 50, and you can see the shadows. Got better. The moment, so I'll go with 40. I think it will be enough. Now, I will do the thing which I do almost everywhere. I will do a black border here, here on the top, and then on the bottom. This is one thing which I really like to have everywhere just a simply black border which makes the border between the picture and no picture. So the tutorial is over. I hope you liked really the game and I hope to see you by some next tutorial. So thanks for watching and bye bye.